Ah, uh, thank God you're here. I thought it might be good to have a little chat. You've been our babysitter for six months now, and in that time, you've gotten to know the children very well. Madeline, Oscar, and of course, little... Shanongdae. <sighs> Laura. Uh, yeah, that's right. Look, you the children it. clearly adore you. What is it that little Oscar calls you? The f fucking bomb? The wild one. Why do you think he calls you that? Cause... I'm the fucking bomb. <laughs> Could it be that you let them have chocolate, lollies, and soft drink when you know they're not allowed to? Why would you do that? Because it, it's part of, part of my life. I can't be part of their fucking life. When we got home last week, at midnight, the children were still up. What possible explanation could you have for keeping young children up so late? They kept me up. I was trying to get some good sleep. They just kept jumping into my room, screaming about fucking sharks in the sky. Why were you trying to sleep? You're meant to babysit them. I was up drinking bourbon. <laughs> fucking bourbon. You certainly take them on some interesting excursions. Where was it you went last weekend? Uh, it was... <laughs> oh, that's my phone, that's my phone. Uh, uh, hello, mate. No, I ain't got that. No, you gotta come in next week. Fuck that, fuck that. Shh. Get... No, not here. I'm, I'm in a meeting. Can't talk about weed. Shut up. Who was that? My colleague. Where did you take them last week on your little excursion of yours? The zoo. A casino. I was just wondering, what do you think children can learn at a casino? Um, they can learn how to make money. We do appreciate you teaching them things. What was it you taught little Oscar last night? Um, uh, how to tie his shoes. Like, every kid needs to know how to tie his fucking shoes. How to vote on Idol. Why is it that some? Why is that something a six-year-old needs to know? I'm gonna ask you a question. How the fuck are you getting all this information? The children have told us. Oh, shit. The children love doing craft with you. What have you been teaching them to make this week? Paper planes. Oh really? Because they told us it was fake IDs. Like you know the one that you were carrying when we you know hired you. Why would children need to make fake IDs? You know to get into the. Theme parks that you they don't say need they... ID to get into a theme park if you're a child. Now they say that you have to be this tall. So I thought that if you're this old, you'd be able to get onto that. You know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look, now we do have bigger issues. We got a call from the police this afternoon regarding Laura. Have a guess where they found her. At playgroup. She'd been left on the elephant ride outside a shopping center, alone. You better have a good explanation for why you left a three-year-old alone on an elephant ride. She wanted to keep going. She she just wanted to keep on riding along the elephant, like put in more coins, put in fuck that. Like I gave her all the coins she needed. She'd be happy for three weeks. Where exactly did you learn to work with children? The children's department in Nicaragua. You told us you had a diploma in childhood development from the University of Tika Tanu. We rang New Zealand. There's no such institution. It's not in New Zealand. There is, however, a Tika Tanu nightclub. How do you learn about children in a nightclub? I've got another call. I've got another call. <sighs> Your phone didn't even ring. What phone? Look, this isn't easy for us, but we may have to let you go. Unless you can give me one good reason for keeping you on. I have taught the kids so much in these past six months. Like, I've taught them how to be good people and how to tie their shoes and how to fucking, you know, you know that shit, and the, the good stuff, not weak. You're fired. <laughs>